Hello and welcome to another video of Solidity Do It Yourself tutorials. In our last video, we talked about how to write a function to withdraw cryptos from, from a contract. We used the call method. There are other two methods. First one is transfer and the other one is send. They're not really used frequently as the call. The call is the most preferred one to be used, but it's also interesting to know the other two methods. So in this video, I'm gonna focus on the other two methods. And then we're gonna play around with a little bit of the call method and we will look at different scenarios. That is what we are gonna do in this video. So let's start doing that. First is the transfer method. So I'm gonna comment the calls method out and then I'm gonna show you the transfer method. That means there is a preset so the transfer method is a preset 2300 gas cap. It errors out when this is not met. So minimum, the, the cap, the max is 2300 for the gas. So very simple. It errors out, right? So it says payable message dot sender. Very simple, very same as what we did for call. And instead of call, we will do a dot transfer. And the syntax is a little bit different here. All I'm gonna do is say the amount to be transferred, that's all. This is the transfer method. I'm not gonna run it because you know, you, you, you're you gonna find it by yourself. Uh, and then I'm gonna focus on the, the second method, which is going to be the third method, which is the send method. So let me show you that. Printed out the transfer method and I'm gonna show you the send method. Send method is similar to the transfer method which has a preset 2300 gas cap. That means if it is cannot, if it cannot, if it cannot transfer within that cap, it returns a boolean. The other one returns an error. That's the only difference. Very simple. So because it returns a boolean, we need to catch the boolean. So I'm gonna catch it as a message and then table message.sender.send crypto amount. And then I'm gonna say require this message as failed. So these are the methods that you can use to transfer or withdraw money or cryptos from the, from the wallet. Now, for our discussion today, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to comment out even the call method, and you can run this, you know, you can compile and run and deploy and run this and test it out by yourself. And I'm gonna to move to the next one, which is my recommended or what the Solidity rec recommends to use the call function. So I'm going to undo this. Now, so what we are gonna focus is, look at crypto amount, right? What if instead of crypto amount, I want to use all the balance. That means how much ever the balance is on that contract, I wanna withdraw. So if the balance is this much, I'm gonna withdraw everything, right? Let's focus on that. So how do you do that? Number one is get rid of input. I don't need the input. Or maybe just leave it there. It's gonna throw a warning. We'll not worry about the warning. I'm gonna copy this exactly. And uncheck, comment this one out. Instead of crypto amount, obviously I don't wanna use that. I wanna withdraw the entire balance. I'm gonna say address. Address this dot balance. And what this does is this is going to withdraw all the money or all the cryptos, whatever is the crypto from the 
from the contract. Let's let's deploy this. So I'm going to delete this, compile. It's going to give me a warning saying that this variable is not used. It's a warning. Just ignore for now. And we know that why we have not used. And I'm going to say deploy. You see that there is zero ETH. So for now, I'm going to transfer 1 million quay, which is more than required. So deposit, you have 0 0.001 ETH. And from withdraw, I'm not going to use, if, even if I just say one, it doesn't matter because anyhow, I'm not using this crypto amount. It does not matter, right? I can say zero. And as soon as I click on withdraw, it does not matter. The reason it does not matter is because because I'm passing this amount, but I'm not using this. I'm using everything. The 0 0.001 ether, I want to withdraw everything. That's why I can put zero or one doesn't matter in material. We are not going to use that variable. So I'm going to click here, withdraw. And as soon as they say withdraw, you see that this has become zero ether. And they have it has received, and obviously we should have checked it has received 0 0.001 ether. I can show it to one more time, right? So I'll say, let's do one ether. Deposit, now you have one ether. And then let's deposit to this one to make it at 90.99. So I'm gonna say, withdraw, it goes to zero, and it says 90.99, which is, transferred. So this is how you would withdraw all the balance irrespective of the crypto amount, obviously. Thank you for watching.